Welcome to Microsoft Access Expert Level 15, brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I'm your instructor, Richard Rost. In today's class, we are continuing our coverage of action queries. We'll be working with more append queries, and we'll be learning about delete queries. We're going to start off with a very popular topic, something I get asked about all the time, tracking attendance, whether it's students in classes or employees in meetings. These techniques will work for any kind of situation where you have to track attendance. We'll start off by tracking customers in classes. For our fictional PC resale company, we're going to do computer training. So we'll track each of our customers in different computer classes. We'll set up a many-to-many -many relationship so each of our customers can be in multiple classes and vice versa. We'll also allow each customer, which might be a company, to send multiple employees for training. Then we'll set up a form to track attendance for each of those customers in each session of the training classes. We'll create an append query to take all of the students that are registered and put them in the day's class session. That way all the instructor has to do is check the box indicating whether they're present or absent. This keeps the instructor from having to type in the names every time there's a class. Next, we'll learn how to edit a button macro so that the append query can run automatically. The instructor can click on one button, all of the students are added to the day's class, all of the warning messages are turned off, so you're not bothered with those, and then we'll create two printable reports. One will show attendance by date, so you can see which students were missing from which class. The second will show attendance by student, so you can get a list of each student and what days he was absent. Next, we'll learn about delete queries, how to delete records from your tables automatically. The example we'll use is archiving old contact information from our customer database. If you talk to customers every day, after several years, you might have extra information in there that you don't want to delete, but you want to move it so it's not in your main customer database. We'll use an append query to copy old records to a new table, then we'll use a delete query to remove them from the original contact table. This class follows Access Expert Level 14. I strongly recommend you watch Levels 13 and 14 before continuing with this class. Level 13 is the intro to action queries and covers update queries. Level 14 continues with update queries and teaches append queries, which we'll be using today for the student attendance portion. This class was recorded with Microsoft Access 2013. It should work fine with 2007 and 2010. The action queries themselves work just fine in pretty much any version of Access, but today I'm going to show you how to edit embedded macros that were new in 2007. If you're using Access 2003 or earlier, I recommend you get my Access 222 class which covers all of these action queries in detail for Access 2003. My courses are broken up into beginner, expert, advanced, and developer level classes. Beginner level classes are for novices. You should understand all the topics covered in them by the time you get to the expert level classes, which you're in now. When you finish all of the expert level classes, the advanced classes will cover event programming and macros, and the developer classes will cover Visual Basic for applications. Each group of classes is broken down into multiple levels, level 1, 2, 3, and so on. In addition to my normal access classes, I also have seminars designed to teach specific topics. Some of my seminars include building web-based databases, creating forms and reports that look like calendars, securing your database, working with images and attachments, writing work orders and running a service business, tracking accounts payable, learning the SQL programming language, creating loan amortization schedules, and lots more. You can find details on all of these seminars and more on my website at accesslearningzone.com. If you have questions about the topics covered in today's lessons, please feel free to post them in my student forums. 
if you're watching this course in the online theater on my website, you should see the student form for each lesson appear in a small window next to the class video. Here, you will see all of the questions that other students have asked, as well as my responses to them, and comments that other students have made. I encourage you to read through these questions and answers as you start each lesson, and feel free to join in the discussion. If you are not watching these lessons on my website, you can still visit the student forums later by visiting accesslearningzone.com slash forums. To get the most out of this course, I recommend you sit back, relax, and watch each lesson completely through once without trying to do anything on your computer. Then, replay the lesson from the beginning and follow along with my examples. Actually create the same database that I make in the video step by step. Don't try to apply what you're learning right now to other projects until you've mastered the sample database from class. If you get stuck or don't understand something, watch the video again from the beginning or tell me what's wrong in the student forum and I'll do my best to help you. Most importantly, keep an open mind. Access may seem intimidating at first, but once you get the hang of it, you'll see that it's real easy to use. Now I strongly encourage you to build the database that I build in today's class by following along with the videos. However, if you would like to download a sample copy of my finished database file, you can find it on my website at accesslearningzone.com slash databases. Sometimes if you get stuck, the easiest way to learn is to tear apart someone else's database. One of the ways that I taught myself access years ago was by tearing apart the Northwind Traders database that comes with Microsoft Access. You'll find there's a sample database for each of my courses on my website. Now let's take a few minutes and go over exactly what we're going to cover in today's class. In lesson one, we're going to begin setting up tracking student attendance in classes. We're going to create a class type table, an individual class table. We'll assign customers and students into these classes and then set up a many-to-many -many relationship to track each student in each class. In lesson two, we'll set up the attendance table with the attendance form and subform. We'll create an append query so we can run it and automatically add all of the students for the currently selected class to the attendance table. In lesson three, we're going to finish up with student attendance. We're going to make a button to automatically add all of the students to the attendance form for the day. And we'll make a couple of attendance reports, student attendance by date and student attendance by student. In lesson four, we're going to archive old contacts from our customers by running an append query to copy all of the contacts that are more than a year old into a different table. Then we're going to learn how to use a delete query to delete those records from the original contact table. 